Hi guys, it's Ray from Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today I am going to start a deep pour project. This mold is two and a half inches deep this way and three and a half by three and a half. I'm actually going to pour this in such a way that it will sit the finished product this way, most likely. But um, this one is getting this flower and this dragonfly that's been drying for months. So I think I'm going to put just a tiny bit of limeade in the first layer so it has a little bit of color in the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour my resin into this cup. I don't like to mix color in my silicone cups. I prefer to put it in another cup to do that. So I'm going to use 100 milliliters roughly for this first coat. That's what I mixed up and I'm just going to go ahead and scrape the whole cup. And I'll just keep that stick for that. So this is just Tim Holtz Limeade. I don't want it a super bright color. I want it semi-translucent, but I want a green. So, I'm just gonna mix that in. So these molds, because I'm using just a regular resin, I can't deep cast with them. It'll get too hot. Um, it's going to take probably a good six or seven pours, depending on how deep I make each pour. Each pour after this is going to be just clear. So I will come in and show you those, but they're going to be quick and quiet. And I will try and keep track on the screen of the pour and how much resin I've put in each one just so you have that information. I got these molds on Amazon. I will find links to them and put them in the description as well. So, I know it doesn't look green in there, but it is, I promise. And I don't want to use heat on this. You don't want to heat a mold like this and have it fuse to, you don't want the resin to fuse to your mold, so. What you can do is take alcohol and just spritz it, and you'll see it pop. So, I'm just going to let this sit for a bit, and then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to place the cone flower where I want it. This was an oddball cone flower. All of the other ones from this batch were purple. This one came out yellow, and this is how it looked when it dried. I did dry this in sil silica gel. The dragonfly has just been drying naturally. It should be completely dry, so there shouldn't be an issue casting it as long as I'm doing thin layers. So I will be back for the next step. Okay, I am ready for the next step. It's been a bit. Um, I'm going to start by embedding the flower. This is only semi-set, so I can set the flower in there a little bit. And I'm not going to put the dragonfly in yet. I'm just going to kind of check and make sure it's good for space. And I won't need to put the dragonfly in this layer, but the next layer, I think. So I have another 100 mLs mixed up. And I'm actually going to try and coat the flower somewhat. I don't want it to droop. So I'm just going to pour in this layer. And this layer is going to be a little bit harder to get the bubbles out of because I can't 
probably spritz it the same way as the last layer. Because I do still have some under the flower that's not going to be filled yet at this point. But I'm hoping that the timing on this isn't bad. Hopefully it'll sit like that and the flower will stay up somewhat at an angle. I hope. So that's it for that layer. And I will be back for layer number three and then placing the dragonfly, I hope. And then it'll be just a couple of clear coats over that. Uh, if I stay on track with my timing, I ought to be able to get it filled tomorrow and then let it sit for a full 24 hours and then pull it the next day. So we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I am coming in for round three, and I said I was going to carefully measure and track how much resin I used, and then I measured in a cup with no measurements. So, I don't want to fill this level too, too much, so I'm going to measure into a cup and then pour it in. So that's 25. And about 50. All of my 100 ml measuring cups are currently dirty, so that's 50. This will be 75. And I think that's going to be it for this layer because I want the dragonfly to be able to sit on that last little bit of flower right here. I'm just going to gently pour this on with these petals. By drizzling a little bit on there, it's letting them get a little bit stiffer each time. So, I'm going to mark down 75 for that round. I am keeping track. And that's a little bit more than halfway filled at this point. So it's getting there. Tomorrow I will, this is going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow I will come in and set the dragonfly into the next layer. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz this layer. I'm sure I'm still going to have some bubbles, but hopefully it's not too bad. Again, this piece is for me, so I'm not terribly concerned, but I'll be back. Okay, it is the next morning. This is pretty hard, so I am ready to put a little bit more resin in and try and put the dragonfly in there. He did break apart on me a tiny bit this morning so I did some repairs um, and then I actually went ahead and clear coated it just to hope it holds its shape a little bit better. I sprayed both sides a couple times so whether that was a necessary step or not I'm not entirely sure. His one tail segment may or may not stay with him. I may have to put that back. So. I have a bunch of resin mixed. Again, I mixed in a big cup because all of my mixing cups are still dirty. So I'm just going to measure in. And I'm thinking I only want about 50 before I place the dragonfly. So... And 
that's another 50. I'm just going to see how deep that leaves the fresh. I'm going to go ahead and put another 25 in. So that'll be 75. I'm still not quite to the top of the flower, which is fine because that'll keep it holding its position. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this sit and give it a spritz. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for 15 or 20 minutes and then come back and place the dragonfly once it starts to stiffen up just a tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to try and get the dragonfly placed now. I'm going to try and do it without damaging it too much more. So, I'm just going to kind of get it at the angle it needs to be at. And I'm just going to let it sink or float as much as it wants to. Hopefully the wings will hold definition as they sink in. Hopefully they'll still be visible when it's dry. I'm not really sure what it's going to do. And then to finish filling this, it's probably going to get thin coats. Just so the dragonfly will keep that little bit of dimension. I kind of want the tail to sink a little bit more, but I'm afraid because the tail is sectioned at this point. So I'm just going to gently, gently, gently poke it down. To the bottom of that thin layer. That way at least on the next pour I can get the tail completely coated. So, I'm going to let this be. It might continue to sink some more, or it might just hang out where it's at. But, that's what we have so far. It looks like I'm still going to be able to see the wing, so that's good. And by doing thinner layers, it's going to keep the resin cooler. Less chance of damage, hopefully. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I am ready for the next round. So I'm going to slowly add to this layer. And that should cover the rest of the flower. I don't really want to pour any directly on the wing that's raised. I want to kind of slowly layer over it. So again, at this point, this is going to be numerous layers. And I'm just measuring into a cup so I can keep track of where I'm at. Because that's only another 50 so far, and I want to see what that does. I'm going to drizzle some over the head, maybe the top of this other wing. I'm going to do another 25-ish and then call it good for this layer. So that's another 75 for this one. And this is probably going to be two more layers to be complete. That was layer five. So six will probably be about the same as that layer was. <clears throat> and then layer seven will just fill it wherever it's at. 
but the flower is now fully encased. Two out of the three wings. Actually, this one is just about fully encased. So I may actually just add enough to cover that third wing. So that was probably about 80 milliliters total now for this layer. So I'm going to keep an eye on bubbles. I'll keep popping the bubbles and we'll let it go. And I'll be back in a couple hours for the next layer. Okay, I am ready to pour layer number six. And this is 80 mLs I mixed up. I uh, washed all my cups while I was getting ready. So after this, it's just going to have one more 80 to 100 ml clear layer. That completely covers the final wing. And so far it's holding up pretty well. I'm quite pleased. So that is layer number six for this piece. And once again, I will babysit the bubbles, try and get the rest of these bubbles out. And I will be back for the final layer, and then I will be back to unmold it. Okay, I am ready for the final pour on this piece. I have 100 milliliters mixed up. So I will just see what the difference is once it's full from this cup. And then it will be done and ready to demold in the morning. I'm just going to get down here to eye level to make sure it is full. And that took the better part of the hundred. Basically the whole thing. I have it so it's slightly domed. That's intentional because I don't want it to climb the edges of the wall. I want it to dome slightly. If you don't fill a mold entirely, it um, has a tendency to climb. And again, this will be like every other layer. I will watch the bubbles rise and pop them and watch them rise and pop them until it's as clear as I can get it. I know there's going to be bubbles in this piece. I'm fine with that. Yep, there's about 10 milliliters left in this. So I used another 90, so I will mark that on my sheet right now. So this is seven layers total, and I will give you the total number of mLs when I unmold it. I'll total it up here in a minute. So I will be back in the morning to unmold. So I'm going to unmold this now. My last layer did end up with quite a few bubbles, but again, this is a personal piece for me, so I'm not worried about it. I might have to top coat it too. I do have one bubble at the bottom of the flower in the back. A little bit of trimming to do. But there she is. It needs to be polished all the way around. But all in all, I am pretty happy with this for my first big piece. I'll give her a polish. 
the sides a little bumpy there. I'll polish her up and she can sit in my workroom because this is a personal piece for me. So, I, mean, I wish I had a little less bubbles, especially in that top layer, but not much I can do about it now. So, I do like the way the green looks on the base layer. It gives up a little bit of color, but it's still translucent. So, that's that. And my mold is good still. Perfect condition. So that's good. Um, if you like this video, if you would please give me a subscribe. I'm just handling it with gloves because, um, so I don't leave any prints on it in case it's still not hard cured yet. Um, if you please give me a like and a subscribe, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you so much.